Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now today guys, what I have for you is in fact a dual overhead cam Lego vacuum engine. Now I'll go in more into depth of this engine in just a moment, but real quickly before I begin, I would like to say thank you all so much for 500 subscribers. That is seriously a lot. It's incredibly amazing to me how in the span of a week and a half, I can go from having 300 subscribers having 500 500 subscribers if you know in the last video i said thank i said thank you for 300 subs now i'm saying thank you for 500 subs and probably by the time this video is out it's probably going to be 550 so i just want to say thank you all so much for that and really quickly also um, according to youtube statistics not a lot of of my viewers are actually subscribed so if you have the time please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button down below support is always greatly appreciated and also if you'd be kind enough to leave a comment i also always read your comments and i'll help you out also discord link in the description if you want to join and yeah so without any further ado let's get right into this engine so guys to start off i'll give you some general specs of this engine First of all, it has a 6x6 LEGO piston, um, as well as an intake and exhaust port on either side. And yeah, it also has a three stud total crank throw. It, In my original design for this engine, it did have a four stud crank throw, which was, um, it didn't actually work out that well. And in the end, it just was very clunky. And so I switched to a three stud, it runs a lot smoother and a lot easier. Now, as I'll spin it around for you, as you can see, it does have a chain driven valve system and I will get to that in a second. Uh, here's a 360 view of it. As you can see, intake and exhaust, they can also be switched around so you can actually run this in both directions. All you have to do is switch to input and, up and exhaust. So uh, moving on, we have the valves, which are on top, which are underneath this cover here. Now, I would like to quickly um, give a shout out to 747 Technics, who inspired me to build this design. I will leave a link to his channel and his original video in the description. And as you can see, these valves actually um, open and close the holes that are the intake and exhaust as you can see it actually opens up the holes and can let the piston be sucked up by the actual vacuum so the timing is the same they are these two cranks are 180 degree offset but they are in relation to the crank they are 90 degrees offset so yes timing is very important for this particular engine and you can run it without the cover or with the cover on. It doesn't really matter and it does not affect the performance. But I'll be running it with the cover off so that you can see on um, the inside of this engine while it's running. Um, it does use a chain tensioner over here to make the chain not tight but also not loose either. There's a little bit of play but it's not um, too much that it will completely throw it off and affect performance. Anyway guys, um, I would like to keep this video relatively short, and yeah, so I think it's time to, for, for us to run this engine. So guys, here we go, I'm going to run this engine, it is not the fastest engine I've ever felt, obviously, uh, so hopefully you'll still be impressed by the performance of this little engine here, and yeah, so uh, let's run the engine.
shot at the problem. So guys, that's going to just about wrap up today's video. I know it's kind of a short one, short and sweet, but it's really not a very complicated engine. And again, big thanks to 747 Technics for giving me the original idea of a dual overhead cam like a vacuum engine. If you guys did enjoy my content, feel free to leave a like down below as well as comment. I read all your comments. Anyway guys, it's going to do it for today. Hope you did all enjoy, and I will see you all in the next video. See you later.